Hello there guys, it's Matt here again and welcome back to another action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new McFarling Halo 4 Series 1 Master Chief. Um, so yeah, so here's the figure in the packaging, uh, looking really awesome. Um, so this figure has just been released by McFarling, uh, the new Halo 4 um, line of figures and they do look really cool actually. Um, so yeah, so here's, here's Master Chief in the packaging, looking really awesome. Um, I did purchase this figure from eBay uh, for about £11 um, and there is a limp link in the description down below if you want to purchase this figure. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at the figure in the packaging. Um, so the style of packaging is the same style as the Halo Reach and Halo 3 packaging. Um, it's got like just a new design to it for the game. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at the packaging. And the packaging sorry. Um, so down here, as you can see, it says Halo 4. Uh, down here, you see it says Series 1, just down here. Uh, Master Chief there, uh, 27 moving parts. Uh, Master Chief Series 1 again. Um, on the side here, it says got a little bio um, of Master Chief there. You can pause and read that, you can just about see that there. Um, and on the side here, on the front here, got a nice artwork picture of Master Chief from the game, which looks very cool. And in the front of the packaging, you can see a picture. Oh, you can actually see the figure in the packaging, which looks really awesome. And at the top there, you got the 4 for Halo 4. And on the back of the packaging, you can see the other figures in Series 1. So we have Master Chief, uh, the Elite Zylot, Zylot or whatever, um, the Grunt Storm, and the Spartan, Spartan Warrior. So there, that looks like a really cool series. And I will begin all of these figures from Series 1 um, very soon. Um, or not soon, but I will be getting them. Um, so yeah, because that does look like a cool series. And here's some figures that um, are coming soon from McFarlane. And do look cool. And also we have the Micro Ops as well. So that's the packaging for his, um, Master Chief. And he does look really cool. And I can't wait to get my packaging because he does look really awesome. Um, but I just want to keep him in there because he does look really cool. Um, but I have to get him out because it's a review. Um, so yeah, so let's get this guy okay. out of the package. So now we have Master Chief out of the packaging. Here he is. Uh, now this figure does look really cool. Um, I'm really impressed about the detail on this figure. Um, but it does have a couple of problems, uh, which I will go over later on in the review. Uh, but first off, let's go over the accessories that he does come with. Um, so as you can see, he does come with the assault rifle and holds it pretty nicely. And he does look really cool. Um, now there are a couple of problems with the assault rifle. It does take quite a bit of effort to actually put it into his hands. Um, if I just show you now. Because when you put it in his uh, right hand, it's kind of tricky actually. Um, you have to hoop it around his thumb and put it into his fingers, which is kind of hard. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do that. Um, but yeah, so it's, that's pretty hard. But getting it out is pretty easy. You just have to sort of hoop it around his fingers and then push it in sort of thing. Um, so that's pretty hard to get in there. But so yeah, so let's take a look at the assault rifle. So this is the new style of assault rifle back from Halo 3, not in Halo Reach, uh, which I'm used to. Um, but yeah, so the paint job on the assault rifle is pretty nice. Um, but it mine's actually quite bad actually, because um, well, more on this side, it's kind of terrible actually. Um, the, all the black has like spilled over. As you can see up the top bit there, um, it's spilled over onto the grey everywhere. Look around here up there, it's like spilled everywhere, it's a terrible paint job actually on this side it's slightly better um, but you can see it's gone everywhere, all the black it's terrible black, um, but there's got some nice dark grey, lighter grey and then black there's three shades of black in there it's pretty nice sculpt work on the assault rifle, it's just the paint job is kind of bad um, he does come include a peg, as you can see the peg goes there and he does, he does have a peg hole on his back there uh, just about see that in there and he does have a peg art on his left and his right thigh. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty standard for Halo figures. Um, so yeah, so that the assault rifle is the only accessory that they does come with. And you, you do not get it, you do not get a grenade or anything else. Uh, so let's take a look at the Master Chief figure. So he does have a new style of armor, which I actually really like. It looks really awesome. Um, so let's take a look at the helmet. The helmet is very nicely painted. Um, I really like the gold visor. Looks really nice nicely painted. Um, the whole armor does have a sort of like weathering look to it, battle damage kind of look to it, uh, which looks really nice. Um, so yeah, really nice paint job. Uh, not the best paint job, because um, in some areas it can be, is a bit bland, but um, in most places it's really nice. 
So you can see on the chest, on the chest, it's really nicely detailed. Um, his his shoulder pieces are not removable. Um, they're just stuck on there. Actually, they're not really shoulder pieces because um, his shoulders up here, um, but they're they're a bit lower down on this figure. Um, but yeah, for the point now. But um, they're not removable. His chest isn't removable. Um, so he he's just a normal figure. Um, so as you can see, his armor is really nicely detail painted. Um, I do actually really like his hands um, because he's got like you can't really see it on the camera, but he's got like nice little really detailed bits on it on his hands there. Um, that's really nice. Um, the bit I don't really like about this figure is his waist. Um, it looks kind of small and doesn't look really that right. Looks kind of strange actually. Uh, but yeah, that's quite weird actually. Uh, but yeah, his chest plate piece is really nice. Uh, on the back there, that's re I really like this part on the back here. Looks really nice. Um, his butt, butt, butt piece looks kind of weird. Um, his armor is kind of nice, but in some places it's kind of bad. Um, but yeah, um, his legs, really nice detail in the, on the legs there. Looks really nice, really nice um, wash detail throughout um, the legs. Looks really nice, really nice detail on the armor here. Um, and here is his feet, really nice new design um, of the feet. Um, but from my opinion, they do actually look kind of small. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but I think they look kind of small. Uh, but kind of bit stubby at the front here, um, but they're a bit small. And he is kind of easy to stand up, kind of hard sort of thing. Um, can be kind of tricky to stand up, um, depending on the position that you have him in. Um, but I find him quite easy to stand up. And yeah, so he had, he does have a really nice paint job on him. Um, he looks really nice, really nice detailing. Um, just standard standard paint job from McFarling, and he looks really cool. So really nice detailing throughout the figure, and there is no paint um, spillage on the figure. Not like it's horrible. Right, it just looks really awesome. So. This is a really nice figure, really nice painted, and really nice sculpt work. Um, so let's go over go over the articulation for Master Chief now. His head is on a ball joint sort of thing, but I actually think his head is a bit low and um, it's sort of sinking in his body sort of thing, because when you point him down, it looks too low actually. Um, but yeah, so his head is on a ball joint and moves left and right, up and down. Doesn't spin all the way, doesn't spin all the way around because it's hindered by his by his chest piece here. And the shoulder is on a ratchet ball joint, as you can hear that sort of thing. Um, that's on a ball joint, so it moves up and down and it sort of spins at the ball joint. Um, he has a single jointed ratchet elbow, so it moves in and out, doesn't swivel, um, but at the wrist it swivels and it also has a ratchet hinge uh, joint, so I can move in and out like that. At the abdomen waist area, he does have a ball joint, so it moves around like that. Nice range of motion there. Uh, now the hip, he doesn't have very good hip joints because they actually don't move that much. Um, they just move, they just swivel, and then they just move out like that. So that's not very good. You can't move them forward or back. So just, just move them forward and then swivel. When you swivel it out, you can move it out quite far, but that's kind of bad. So not very good hip articulation there. Um, he does have a ratchet knee, so it goes in and out. Up the top there, single jointed, and also swivels at the th top of the thigh here. So it swivels there. Uh, at the ankle, it is a ball joint, so it moves. Mine are very stiff, but it just moves up and down and also swivels. It does have bad arti toe articulation, so it moves up and down. As you can see, not a much. Not much movement there, but it's something. Um, it's kind of bad. But yeah, so the articulation on Master Chief is pretty good, actually. I pretty like it, pretty much like it. Um, the legs, the hips are not very good. Can't get much range of motion on there. Uh, the toes don't move much at all. Uh, but the rest of the articulation is really good, actually. Um, you can get him in some nice poses with the assault rifle, and yeah, some really cool stuff. Uh, it would be nice if he included a grenade, but he doesn't have any grenade pegs, so you can't really um, include that. But overall, I think this figure is a really nice figure. Um, I really I would highly recommend him um, if you haven't picked him up already. And if you're a big Halo fan um, and a fan of Master Chief, then I'd recommend picking this guy up. Um, and overall, I'd give this figure a 5 out of 5, actually. Maybe a 4, uh, 5 maybe, um, because the detail on him is really nice. Um, but 
the assault rifle is kind of hard to put in his, put in his hands. Um, but anyway, I think that pretty much does it for this review. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.